Hi Journals for Life fans, this is Andrea and I'm here to show you this book that I put together. I was so super excited to try out this cover from Graphic 45. I no longer have any more of the craft and shop, it's completely sold out, but I do have some of the black and I'll be showing you those as well. But I just finished this craft album. Um, I used paper from the Rain Boot, Rubber Boots and Rainbows collection. And that's the washi from the Rubber Boots and Rainbows collection. I plan on making a spine um, a title. So what I did is I put my spring and summer pictures this year and then past years as well. I used to scrap chronologically and then realized that that just drove me crazy. I couldn't sustain it. I more or less journal about stories instead of um, keeping up with what you know, happens chronologically. So I went back through and documented a bunch of stories. And so this is my book. So these clips come from a bunch of different like big box stores, but there are a few in here that I bought from Preppy Cat Planner and I tagged her on Instagram and also Noni's um, Custom Creations. I buy a lot of paper clips from her as well. So you can tell like I'm a big paper clip fan. So I pick them up from all over the place and even the dollar stores. So there you have it. But Preppy Cat Planner and Noni's Custom Creations are my go-to. So I wanted to show you my wild and free layouts. And so here we go. Here's one. And this is from the wild and free collection that just launched. They just, um, we just did our full reveal. And the travel notebook kit comes with papers, stamps, embellishments, an embellishment pack, an ephemera pack, two sticker sheets, a washi tape. So you get everything that you need um, here. Oh, and a stamp set. That's right. So there are six things that you get in the kit. And if you buy the travel notebook kit, you get this free rainbow washi. So this wild and free rainbow washi does not come in the kit. You get the wild and free washi, which I'll show you in a second, but you get the second roll if you buy a kit for free. It's a free gift promo. So this is the paper from the paper pack with some stickers and ephemera of the mountains. Super cute. And then I love this. So we vacationed with my brother and sister-in-law and their son in Gatlinburg last year. And this paper was just gorgeous. It was perfect to document the mountains. Just gorgeous, wild and free. So this is completely stamped. I stamped all of this, the clouds, the wild and free stamp, the arrows, and the, these mountains. It looks similar to the paper. Um, and I'll show that to you in a minute. Um, but I stamped this. So you can either stamp it or you can use the paper. And the, these are stickers from the sticker pack. So this is what I was telling you about. So this is the paper, but this is me stamping similar, that similar image. So you can take that stamp and just buy the stamp and get this look as well. But here's the paper that was printed. And I thought the mountains printed a little light. You can see them, but it just made me feel good to draw a line around them. I kind of like a real dark edge. You know, I'm one of those people who ink the edges of their papers and such. So I drew a line around the mountains in the bottom. This says, I'm going to set this down because it's getting a little heavy. So it says log off, shut down, go outside. That's from the stamp set. And so are the mountains and clouds. And the paper pack is, it's size to fit in a travel notebook. So it's eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. And these were kind of leftover pieces. I used every piece of paper in that kit. You get 24 pieces of paper and I used them all. And then here's a photo matted up. Here's that washi I was telling you about. So I think it says wild and free, happy heart and free spirited is what the tape says with that mountain scene in the back. And then here are some layers of die cuts and stickers. And then the stamp again saying beautiful day with that arrow. And that was a very gorgeous day. And this is something I'm kind of famous for. I have like a little bitty ruler and I'll just like make some lines somewhere and um, do my little journaling. You'll see that a lot. That's my famous 
little journaling spot. I just find a place on the page and make me some lines. See, look, I did it again here. This stamp was so fun to work with. Um, this is the Wild and Free Alphabet. It does not come in the travel notebook kit. It's an add-on. So if you wanted to grab one, you can buy that separately. It will not be re restocked. It was a limited edition. But look how fun. So cute. Love it. And the inks were swatched with the Catherine Puller inks to match the collection. And so you can also find those on Facebook and Instagram and the blog if you wanted to see what Catherine Puller inks that I have in stock match the paper collection. So then this was just a plain piece of paper that I wrote and outlined. And then I put some ephemera at the bottom. And then this is that and the embellishment kit. It's a heart punch of a map. And this little arrow came in the embellishment kit as well. Here we go. Here's hike. I just love these papers together. And I love that they're perfectly sized. The dimensions, you know, the images are sized for small format crafting and travel notebooks. And so here's three layers of paper from the paper pack. And then you see some carryover paper here, ephemera, and some stickers from the sticker sheet. This arrow came on the Wild and Free alphabet, this double arrow. So you can stamp that arrow and then stamp your letters on top of it because it gives you a nice straight line. And then these little arrows came from the Wild and Free travel notebook stamp set. I made so many layouts. I loved it. I love this collection. So these are the rainbows that are on that rainbow washi. So that free washi tape that I talked about. Um, here are the full-sized rainbows. Aren't those super cute? Those rainbows come in the ephemera pack. And you can see the wild and free washi here as well. And here are some stickers from the sticker pack. This was a paper, a full-size paper that I just glued in there with the tent token. I think there are about five or six of those still left. So if you want one, you better grab one. Um, and that is by Redefined Creative. Uh, sometimes I order from Redefined Creative some embellishments to put in the kits. That came from there. Then these are the ephemera clouds that I stamped. And then these are the sticker clouds here. These are stickers. So that's, the sticker pack usually has smaller dimensions, so they're a lot smaller and you can get them into smaller spaces and the ephemera are usually sized bigger. Here's another camping trip. How gorgeous is that feather paper? And then also there's a free printable for labels. So I haven't found a way to have labels manufactured yet, so... Um, I just add them into the free printable section. They are color matched to the kit. And there are three different sizes this month. So it's this big size. Then we have some medium size. And then we have some like little bitty ones. They're like maybe an inch, inch and a half. So you can print those out and either fussy cut them. Or I put them on my brother's scan and cut. And you can just cut them out and use them. And that's what that is. Um, so another super fun quick layout. I love this because this is the makings of s'mores and the, it seems like the marshmallow pack was almost kind of rainbow. And this rainbow kind of reminds me of like graham crackers and chocolate and like a burnt marshmallow. I just thought it was kind of perfect for telling that story. And then also, so these are several layers of paper. And this paper with the river is the bottom of this paper. So that paper's a whole scene. But I cut it and matted that photo, so I had it left over. So I stuck it here in this scene. And I put a, the Wild and Free sticker that's from the sticker sheet. And this tree from the ephemera pack. Log off, shut down, go outside. I love it. And then this is from the stamp set as well. Down here it says, breathe it all in. So great, fun sentiments can be used for a lot of different things. 
And then here's that walled and free paper again. The other one I didn't decorate. I just pasted it in exactly how it was. This one I splattered and I stuck this, the two rainbows and I stamped the extra cloud on there because I like, I just kind of like the dark. I like the black outline, like I outlined the mountains on the other one. And it says, no boundaries, no limits, just me. We have a lot of fun camping in different places. This was a state park in Georgia, the Blue Ridge Mountains. So here's that free spirit, wild and free washi tape again. And the good vibes on the bottom on the little sticker sheet. The not only is it great for, you know, camping, hiking, and stuff like that, but I have these wings in there, and um, my son took a picture at the beginning of school and at the very end at this mural, and he grew two inches and three shoe sizes, and so I documented that here, and it's kind of like you're finished, spread your wings and fly on to the next grade, and the stamp was perfect. No boundaries, no limits, just me. And he did that, so I thought that was a super cute way to document that. And I have, hold on a second, I'm going to do this. So it's kind of some sensitive information up there. I probably should have put a piece of paper over it. But anyway, it's got my daughter's name of her school and some other information. Um, but anyway, um, the mural on the bottom is her standing by some wings as well. And then look perfect here that we have um, those wings and this paper is also from the wild and free paper pack and then that ephemeral wild and free down in the bottom corner was perfect um, to go here so it says last day of school spread your wings and fly my baby so not only can it be great for camping but it's just great for getting outside and getting away Spreading your wings and fly. No boundaries, no limits, just me. I love it. That was, those are my layouts for the Wild and Free collection. And so I wanted to show this to you as well. So this is the book I told you about. This is the Graphic 45 and it comes with three travel notebooks. Um, I didn't use that in my book. I kind of like the square corners because I don't like to corner around anything I do. And I use full pieces of paper like this. So I usually take the books out and then use it at, like I just showed you. But if you, um, you know, work in a rounded corner travel notebook, you will probably love these. So the papers fit on the front perfectly because they're size for travel notebook size. And there you have it. These are in the shop right now um, and available for purchase and organizing your travel notebooks. They sit on the shelf nicely. You can catalog what's in there. You don't have to put them in a basket or you know how these books kind of get wonky. They really just don't sit nice. This is a way to organize them on your shelf. So I thought you guys might enjoy that. I'm completely sold out of the craft, but I do have some of these black ones available and you can go check those out. So those are my projects. Thank you for coming by and I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Bye.